Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Which is an incredible pick, FYI, into anything but the Rumble, really. Uh, the Rumble makes you very sad because you do not have a way of blocking that. But yeah. everything else, um, the combination of the double Mayday characters is welcome for in the W. As Chobi is not actually going to be maxing it, but decides to dive in on top of Gari and is going to flash and also is just going to die. That was hyper aggressive. Peanut, I believe, with his Dr. Arm, not actually able to get too much. And Solar Flare will connect, kick back. Chains of Corruption are going to land. Piercing Arrow comes through. So many teleports as Vista may have actually just uh, just killed himself there with that Zenith Blade. But no, Gauri's going to dive on in. Finds Death towards the back line. And Perfect Execution is going to do it. Morgan now trying to get out as Rich. Going to get the hammer back. There's the Equalizer. Flash from Willa, but he's no! just going to be taken. Equalizer position was not good. Very unfortunate. Good satchel does have Flash, as we can see. W. Gets the Shock Blast, uh, I think a Pina Q, and then Doc Dom's ultimate. And that's it. And now you have your objective. And you can keep doing this, and it's exactly what... Oh. Well, there is a lot of company down here on the bottom side, as Morgan might have chose the wrong time to fight. He's actually holding onto his buttons, though, very nicely, as Vista turns up as well. And actually, some reserved play coming through from Morgan. Very impressive. Mega Inferno Bomb comes down. Vista uses the... Zenith Blade to avoid it, but the Shock Blast is still going to finish off the Leona. Some of the micro plays out from uh, Vista. And Soul Point for Turret is generally not going to be worth it, unfortunately, Atlas, as... No. Um, would agree. we be able to side lane ourselves uh, to a successful situation. As another Equalizer goes into a very awkward position, as we're just throwing around abilities. And Gauri is going to be able to get himself out of the way. Another Zenith Blade, though, to snipe him out of nowhere. And now Trovi dives into the back line. He gets CC'd for a long time, but unfortunately, it's not going to matter. Over the wall he goes, as Kellen is going to go golden for a minute, sees his death, and Trovi is going to collect that kill. And now this might be Harm Alive thinking that it's time for Baron. I don't know if they can do that, though, with the Zig still available and Ooh, Rich and there Rich as, as well. well yeah. Oh, boy. Dangerous moments. Here's all the poke starting to fly on through, and a lot of ultimates are now on cooldown, as we know. But Morgan finds himself into the back line. Rich flashes. He locks down the Leona, but I don't think it's going to be enough to save him, as he can't get over this wall. He goes golden. It's once again going to be a see your death type position, as Dr. Arm still throwing these bouncing bombs over. Will mean that the health bars are too low. Trade uh, free for Meanwhile, one. Meanwhile, it's Gory. Gory is also once again going to try and make his way out. Vanguard's Edge though is going to connect, and unfortunately for the Akali, didn't quite have uh, much room to go for any. And now you need to stall as Nongchim and as Hongwa Life. You want to make use of this pick to just get the Baron as fast as you possibly can. Teleport coming in in the back there. Yeah, be careful. Peanut's making his way over as well as, okay, Morgan is going to be able to find the lease in as Willa gets taken down extraordinarily low. Vista decides that it's time to start a fight. And Deft is going to look for the Chains of Corruption. He's over the wall. He's actually pretty safe right now as the Leo is going to be taken, but it's support for support. And Gori's still dead. He has teleport, but he's not up just yet. This bouncing bomb needs to be respected. Somehow that Q lands and Peanut, are you going to do it? I wouldn't, if I were I you. I think that that's uh, a good thing on Nongshim's side. I think that's uh, that's a mistake that Harmoire have made. And yes, they do have a lot of like vision control on the Nongshim side, but not enough decisiveness. Not Wait, a no, they have Mountain Soul. Well, Rich might be in trouble here as uh, the reset did come through for Chovy. He's trying to get on top of this one, but unfortunately, there are too many friends for Rich. Chovy goes gold and the rest of Harm Alive for trying to capitalize on this one. He buys a bit of time, but where is the damage? Death finally going to turn up and Mega Inferno Bomb is once again going to say goodbye to almost the entirety of Willa's health bar. Gauri trying to dive in. Deft looking to try and keep him at arm's length as well. And unfortunately, they're not able to get anything for Chovy's life. And now Nongshim are going to move over to the Baron themselves, get all of the vision control back. And they're going to start it off. They got five members here. Chovy has teleport, but he's not alive for another 25 seconds. And unfortunately, it feels like Nongshim have just made good decision after good decision into Harmal Life, not being able to really make the trades that they wanted. And I think it goes back to that extremely passive mid game that we had, Atlas, where you hit your spot. Uh, fight for that one, or whether Nongshim can just make it impossible for them. 
As Willa once again going to get chunked by all this poke. Oh my goodness. Vista, no way out of that one. Just gets satcheled and destroyed. And now Nongshim, they're going to be able to break open the base in the mid lane. They're not looking like they're stopping either. As you can see, Chovy's forced it back. And Gari, he's getting this min minion wave prepared for the bottom lane as well. This Baron power play is only going to extend further and further as even more of these structures are being eliminated. Joby does finally turn up, but he doesn't really do anything in a counter siege, as you can see. And unless Harm Alive can pull the trigger, can't really do too much. But without Vista, it makes it so much harder. There is a flanking ward. Thank you, Jonas Strong, for letting us know about this one. But Harm just looks like they don't really know. As Vista moves, moves on in, but Joby's going to get poked. Will is going to get poked. And Nongshim are just continuing to siege this one out. Now the teleport is going to come through as Willa once again takes the Mega Inferno Bomb to the face as Morgan gets towards that backline. He looks for Gari as Chovy trying to dive on him. The Equalizer is actually decent this time around though, but Death is just going to get taken out by Rich. And look at all of these Siege minions. It's ridiculous. This looks like a game of StarCraft, not League of Legends, because there's just so many red minions on the map and they obliterate Hanwha. Nongshim.